Hi folks, this is a short um, introduction, uh, Rick Talk to DIG 3118 Digital Graphics. Um, it's going to be a fast moving uh, class uh, this summer because of the uh, shortened uh, time frame. Uh, we are going to cover some basics of uh, the two major kinds of graphics programs in the professional industry, Vector Art Illustrator and Photoshop Pixel Based Art. Um, I'm the instructor, Rick Rice, and uh, uh, you can contact me at uh, rickrice at pic, P -I -C dot F -S -U dot edu. And um, the assistant and TA, who will be the instructor for the face-to-face -face section of the class, is Katie Smith, and she can be reached at kas one zero f at myfsu.edu. Um, uh, you'll be hearing from her and seeing uh, announcements from her, of course. Quickly, we'll go over some basic points here. Uh, the grading for this summer is based on two major projects. That's going to be 600 points. Four uh, smaller projects or exercises, as I call them, and those are worth together 200 points and then there are two relatively short tests and that's another 200 points for a total of a thousand points uh, for making up your grades you can divide that by 10 of course and you pretty much have what most of us are used to the 100 point um, overall system you've got the two major projects as I've indicated already uh, we'll be using Adobe uh, CS Creative Suite 5 um, and it'll be an illustrator project and a Photoshop project and then the two tests um, will be based on the uh, PowerPoints um, or as I call them the Rick Talks and a few basic questions on the software programs and everyone face to face or online uh, sections uh, will have to uh, go to the testing center to uh, take the tests and that uh, more information will be uh, available and forthcoming uh, concerning that and then as I mentioned we've got four uh, smaller projects or exercises um, as part of your total grading okay all right a um, couple of uh, thoughts keys to success as I call them follow project specs um, you will see when you uh, go to the uh, assignment specifics um, under the assignment tab in the community um, there are very clear very specific um, requirements for the projects and uh, you can see ahead of time the points uh, that will be associated with the different requirements uh, so following project specs is absolutely imperative uh, no ifs ands or buts about it uh, deadlines are very specific and clear and um, uh, need to be followed um, of course, uh, participation is an important part of uh, whether you're in the online group or in the face-to-face -face group. Uh, for the face-to-face -face, uh, class, no phones visible in uh, class, please. Um, Katie, I'm sure, is going to um, reinforce that and um, uh, get get your money's worth in the class and um, uh, put put the phones and the uh, Facebook stuff on the computers away when you come to class okay um, obviously that's not an issue for um, our online class but you're gonna have a lot of work uh, and you've got to be self-motivated everybody's gonna have to be take care of the equipment again that's primarily in the face-to-face -face class and um, another thing uh, that is uh, not uh, at this time in the syllabus but um, uh, really important especially for the online class and even for the face-to-face -face folks who may want to participate even though it won't be required is um, it uh, you really need to get a headset 
um, uh, with a microphone. Uh, I'm going to have some online uh, class chats live, and um, if uh, uh, you don't uh, attend those, then um, I will have them recorded, and you can watch them um, at uh, your leisure. But um, please, everybody, it doesn't need to be fancy or expensive, a little headset with a microphone, uh, especially the USB kind, just pops right into your computer would be a huge help if you want to participate in the uh, class chats and we'll get to that uh, a little bit later on okay and then um, uh, a couple of uh, things you may uh, well be aware of for support services um, the FSU website of course um, the uh, teacher assistant um, uh, which again is going to be uh, Katie Smith, and um, Open Access Labs, uh, the, um, the video library that I have on YouTube on the Rick Rice One channel, um, that's going to be, especially for the, for the um, online folks, the primary way that you're going to learn uh, the majority of the things that you need to learn to be able to successfully do your projects and get the most out of the class. And, of course, um, FSU uh, has many support labs, whether it's the reading, whether it's the writing uh, labs, uh, for anybody. Um, I strongly urge you to uh, take advantage of these things uh, because uh, they're there for, to help you be more successful in all of your classes, not just uh, uh, this one. And uh, there's a uh, professional counseling uh, center. At FSU, again, if you're going through some rough times personally or whatever, um, if you can't uh, uh, bring your your best to class and you're having some difficulties uh, making uh, ends meet uh, mentally and emotionally, um, well, here's a really, really good resource that can help you uh, be more effective and um uh, get the most out of your life. I highly recommend that if uh, you need to, uh, don't be afraid to contact those folks. And then uh, the last, um, uh, not least, uh, the disability services um, in the Student Disability Resource Center. Um, we know for a fact that many, many uh, students have um, challenges and weaknesses um, uh, and learn in many different ways and um, if uh, you have a documented weakness of some kind um, that can um, uh, it's good if your, your instructors uh, know about that um, at least they can be a, a bit more sensitive to your needs. Um, the disability services can provide special help with um, note takers and um, uh, extra time to take tests, etc. So once again, if the, you think this could be of help to you to get the most out of your um, education, I strongly, strongly um, suggest that you contact the disability services and um, and see what what they have to offer that can be of help to you and um, there are going to be many other um, uh, challenges coming our way and of course the summer moves awfully fast so uh, whether you're in the online group or in the face-to-face -face group both of which are treated pretty much the same um, I look forward to um, having contact with you, and I look forward to um, hearing from you. So, um, you need to um, uh, watch this um, if you've read your instructions, and you need to send an email, um, not an email, I'm sorry, um, uh, you need to send a comment, a comment um, on YouTube to me, by midweek, um, and that will uh, give you uh, your uh, requirement, fulfill your requirement for the online folks, your uh, requirement for first day attendance. So, 
Again, by midweek, you need to have watched this and you need to have sent me a comment in YouTube on this video and that will be your attendance for the online folks. And of course, the face-to-face -face class, you need to show up uh, first day and um, Katie will take attendance. Remember, you will be dropped if you do not fulfill the first day um, or on the online uh, first week attendance. All right. Looking forward to talking to you. Looking forward to hearing from you. Have a great day, folks.